The Granada Theatre is celebrating 100 years and in honor of this milestone, they are hosting a special film series called Santa Barbara Home Movies. To tell us more about this, we're joined by Vice President of Advancement, Jill Seltzer, and renowned filmmaker, Andrew Davis. Good morning and thank you both for being here so early. Yeah, well, we're pleased to get to talk about this important first movie in our series of yeah. Santa Barbara Home Movies. When we began to do the kind of research that we needed to do to celebrate the Granada Centennial Year, it became clear that it began as a movie palace mm -hmm. and for live performing arts. So it became important to try to get back to the roots of the building as a movie house mm -hmm. and then the idea that so many people who make movies live in Santa Barbara. Yeah. Um, and so that's how we got to Santa Barbara Home Movies, made by people who call Santa Barbara their home. And we reached out to Andy immediately and <laughs> he said yes. Yes, Andy, why don't you tell us a little bit from your perspective of why you, do, you, why you agreed and why you think this series in particular is so important? Well, first of all, uh, Santa Barbara is a great connection to me because the Flying A Studios, which came out of Chicago, mm -hmm. came here and started making the first movies in California. I worked there as an assistant cameraman. It was called SNA Studios back then. Mm -hmm. And so Bob Zemeckis and myself, who are both Chicago filmmakers, have made several movies uh, that are going to be shown in this series. The first one that they're showing is Steel Big, Steel Little, a movie I made right after The Fugitive with Alan Arkin and Andy Garcia. And it's basically a love story to Santa Barbara. Mm. So, and, and I think everybody in the, in the town is in the movie. <laughs> and it starts with the Solstice Parade. So I think if people can come to see us Saturday night, they'll really enjoy this. It's a very festive kind of movie about family and, and, and sharing the land, okay? Yeah, that yeah. sounds like it really just represents what Santa Barbara is yeah. all about, which is yeah. community. And you know, so many families are here. It's a great place to raise a family as well. And then talking a little bit more about this entire series, why did you decide to do it? You could have picked any theme. Why the Santa Barbara home movie series? I think the fact that Santa Barbara was Hollywood before there was Hollywood. Mm. Um, and again, it's back to the kind of research we were doing. We actually became aware of the history of the Granada as part of the movie industry in a way that we hadn't understood before. Uh, during the Warner years, there were a lot of uh, sneak previews, uh, screened it at the Granada, a lot of premieres, and therefore when it was restored in 2008, there was a significant investment made in the kind of projection system, mm -hmm. and in the last few years we have a new sound system, custom designed for the Granada by Alan Side. So all of that made it seem important to for, remind everybody. For a filmmaker to see their movie in this gorgeous theater on yeah. a huge screen with good sound. <laughs> and I mean, they're going to show The Fugitive, they're going to show Holes. And <laughs> so uh, why wouldn't a filmmaker want to have their film shown? Yeah, so it's a win-win for the theater to feature such great, you know, local ties and like local directors and filmmakers that are from here. And for you, of course, your films that you've worked so hard on seeing it in such a beautiful place. And Santa Barbara just itself is beautiful. We're lucky to call this place home. Is there anything else you would like to highlight about this upcoming series, either of you? I think the sequence of your movies is particularly good for us, Andy. Well, uh, first starting with a film about Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. then a beloved children's novel, Holes, which was the, you know won awards as a book and then it was loved as a movie, and then The Fugitive, which is sort of my calling card as a director which will be shown in the remastered 4K version. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting to be here. And Zemeckis, Bob Zemeckis made some great movies that are also going to be shown. So yeah. everybody can come and enjoy. Yeah, this sounds wonderful. Thank you so much for giving us a little preview of what's to come. I'm certainly excited about this. Well, if you would like some more information, you can head to our mobile app and website. The screening will take place on July 20th, but it is a series, so don't you worry. We'll have a link to tickets and more information at keyt.com. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate your time. Thank Thanks. you.